Hey guys, I'm Slick77, and welcome to Traveler's Tales. What I'm going to be doing here with you guys is I'll be finding random books throughout the, the huge map and world of Skyrim. These books aren't very important, they're just random stories that I would love to read to you guys, and I would love to read myself. Picking up these books, there are no skill points going up, that is a different series. It is cold up here in Wind Peak Inn and Dawnstar. I've raided a ship sunken off to the Northmore. I've found a book called Beggar Prince. I'd like to read with you guys. Where is it? Beggar Prince. The story of Weedle and his gifts from the Daedric Lord Namira. We look down upon the beggars of the Empire. These lost souls are the poor and wretched of the land. Every city has beggars. Most are so poor, they have only the clothes on their backs. They eat the scraps the rest of us throw out. <laughs> we toss them a coin or so that we don't have to think too long about their plight. Imagine my surprise when I heard the tale of the beggar prince. I could not imagine what a prince of beggars would be. Here is the tale I heard. It takes place in the first age. When gods walk like men and danger stalk the wilderness with impunity. It is a time before they were all confined to oblivion. There was once a man named Weedle. Or maybe it was a woman. The, score, the story goes to great lengths to avoid declaring Weedle's gender. Weedle was the 13th child of a king of Valenwood. As such, Weedle was in no position to take the throne or even inherit much property or wealth. Weedle had left the palace to find independent fortune and glory. After many days of endless forest roads and tiny villages, Weedle came upon a three men surrounding a beggar. The beggar was swaddled in rags from head to toe. No portion of the vagabond's body was visible. The men were intent on slaying the beggar. With a cry of rage and indignation, Weedle charged the men with a drawn sword. Being simple townsfolk, armed with only pitchforks and scythes, they immediately fled from the armored figure with the shining sword. Many thanks for saving me, wheezed the beggar from beneath the heap of foul rags. Weedle could barely stand a stench. What is your name, wretch? Weedle asked. I am Namira. Unlike the townsfolk, Weedle was well learned. That name meant nothing to them, but to Weedle it was an opportunity. You are the Daedric Lord, Weedle exclaimed. Why did you allow those men to harass you? You could have slain them all with a whisper. I am pleased you recognize me, Namir rasped. I am frequently re reveled by townsfolk. It pleases to be me to be recognized for my attribute, if not for my name. Weedle knew that Namir was Daedric Lord of all things gross and repulsive. Diseases such as leprosy and gangrene were her domain. Where others might have seen danger, we just saw opportunity. Oh great Namira, let me apprentice myself to you. I ask only that you grant me powers to make my fortune and forge a name for myself that will live through the ages. <clears throat> Nay, I make my way alone in the world. I have no need for an apprentice. Namira shambled off down the road. Weedle would not be put off. With a bound, Weedle was at Nimir's heel, pressing the case for an apprenticeship. For 33 days and nights, Weedle kept up the debate. Nimir said nothing, but Weedle's voice was ceaseless. Finally, on the 33rd day, Weedle was too hoarse to talk. Nimir looked back on the suddenly silent figure. Weedle knelt in the mud at her feet, open hands raised in supplication. It would seem you have completed your apprenticeship. To me after all, Namira declared. I shall grant you your request. Weedle was overjoyed. I grant you the power of disease. You may choose to be afflicted with any disease you choose, changing them at will, so long as it has visible symptoms. However, you must always bear at least one. I grant you the power of pity. You may evoke pity in anyone that sees you. Finally! I grant you the power of disregard. You may cause others to disregard your presence. Weedle was aghast. These were not boons from which a fortune would be made. They were curses. 
each awful in, the, in its own right, but together they were unthinkable. How am I to make my fortune and forge a name for myself with these terrible gifts? As you begged him of three for thirty-three days and thirty-three nights, so shall you beg for your fortune in the cities of men. Your name will become legendary among the beggars of Tamriel. The story of Weedle, the prince of beggars, shall be handed down throughout the generations. It was as Namir predicted. Weedle, Weedle was an irresistible beggar. None could see the wretch without desperately wanting to toss a coin at the huddled form. However, Weedle was also discovered that the power of disregard gave great access to the secrets of the realm. People unknowingly said important things where Weedle could hear them. Weedle grew to know the comings and goings of every citizen in the city. To this day, it is said that if you really want to know something, go ask the beggars. They have eyes and ears throughout the cities. They know all the little secrets of the daily lives of its citizens. That is the beggar prince. That's pretty cool. I will see you guys for the next story.